Tonight, an investigation is underway after a San Antonio police officer killed a 55 year old man today. The police chief says the man grabbed an officer's gun before he was shot. This scene unfolding on the west side. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Zach Briggs talks to one neighbor who says she's shocked. I could say that he was a good family man. Andrea Mata is talking about the man shot and killed by police Tuesday afternoon. Mata has lived in the Loma Park neighborhood for more than 20 years. I mean, it's just like in disbelief of what's going on here in the neighborhood. According to San Antonio police, officers were carrying out two domestic violence related warrants. One of the warrants dealt with a bond violation. Investigators say five officers confronted the suspect in front of a house along Willie Drive. Chief William McManus says that's when the situation escalated. Officer attempted to arrest the individual. When the officer grabbed him to place him under arrest, he fought. Uh, he hit the officer in the face with a can of paint. McManus says at one point the suspect grabbed the officer's gun from his holster as they were wrestling on the ground. According to the chief, a brief struggle over the weapon ended after an officer fired one shot at the suspect who died from his wounds. Neighbors confused yet relieved. I'm just glad nobody else got hurt. Zach joins us live from SAPD headquarters. Zach, how is the officer who, according to the chief, was hit with a paint can? Well, that I'm told the officer will recover without issue. Now, as for the suspect, the 55 year old man who was shot and killed by San Antonio police officer, we have not been able to confirm his identity, but of course, we'll bring you up to date with that once we have it. Now, we also asked Chief McManus about the body camera video from the multiple officers involved in this incident. Well, he said there are no plans to release that as of yet as the investigation continues. For now, we're live downtown. Zach Briggs, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.